everyone and welcome back to my channel. I am very soon going to film a complete uh, finished pages video of every single finished page that I've done because I think it needs updating. It's been um, at least four or five months I think since I did one of them last but just in the meantime I have picked ten of my favourite colouring pages uh, that I can think of off the top of my head. I mean, without going through every single uh, colour and pink, um, this is one of my very favourites by Maria Le Boudec. This came in her set of art that I bought off Etsy, and I believe uh, I did use pan pastels for this. I've not wrote down anywhere on any of these, I don't think, what I've used because some of them are a little bit older. And I have said 10 but I might cheat here and add one or two more because there's one bit that's got two or three that I really love uh, for different reasons. But yeah, I think this was just mainly pan pastel. It could be a little bit of polychrome moss. I'm not entirely sure. So do forgive me, it's uh, a long time since I've done this one. But I can see that I have put glossy accents on her lips, her eyes and on the cat's eyes. Oh, and on the cat's nose actually. But yeah, I'm really happy with how this one turned out. I do need to pull out the pan pastels a little bit more. I think the reason that I don't do it is because they just make a mess. Not too much the powder, as in it takes my full desk up, it takes the full area. So maybe if I'm using them I could move over to the dining table and I'll have a bit more room and I'll have more incentive to actually use them. Because the, uh, the pictures that I've made are really beautiful with them and they don't take nearly as much time as pencils do. I mean I think that shading on the hair could have been a little bit better but I'm happy with the cat and I'm happy with her skin. So yeah that's my first one from so Mariola Budek. My second one is a little bit more recent. Um, this was quite liked on Instagram as well and on Facebook when I posted it and I was really over the moon because I love anything to do with dinosaurs and this is by Annie Colouring. She did just do this one page and then I kindly asked her could she make some sort of PDF colouring book and she did. Um, I think I've done three or four of her pages now actually. Uh, but this was done with Holbein pencils, watercolour and distress ink. That is it. And I just absolutely love how vibrant he turned out. He's super duper cute. And Kirsty over at Kirsty Colouring Sketch did a girlfriend for him in pink. Uh, I don't know which video that will be in but she did uh, show it on her channel but yeah he's super cute and I love him and I actually keep him stuck the I've not bought a frame yet as you can see it bending a little bit because of the um, the bit of watercolour and distressing uh, so yeah I do actually keep him on the wall there I put him in a protective sleeve and I use masking tape to put him up and he's been there since I did it since I finished it that night uh, the next one is out of Colour Voyage by Emmanuel Collin. And it's the very first page, which is the tiger. And the reason that I like this one is I think I pulled off the tiger pretty well, considering I'm um, no good at fur. Fur is my nemesis when it comes to colouring. Um, and I like the background as well. The background is just watercolour, and I've just sort of stippled it on. And the skin is watercolour. And considering that I've not done that much skin with watercolour, I'm quite impressed with that. I'm quite impressed with myself. Uh, I think it could have been blended a teeny weeny little bit better, as you can see here. But the overall effect, you know, I love it. I love it. I'm really proud of this one. So that's that one, which will be my third. The next one is out of Jasmine Beckett Griffith, the Mermaid's Colouring Book. Now I was torn on this one, it was either this one, uh, I have got a whip going on in here, or this one, this is another one that I did as a, a buddy colour with Kirsty. I do love that one but I like this one even better purely because of the eyes. I followed a tutorial by Colouring Chat with Sammy. Uh, I just love how they've turned out. They've turned out really realistic. I mean, she's looking into us all. And I've used watered down white acrylic there to make the way. Let's try again. My battery just uh, completely died. Anyway, I think I was saying I tried my best to make a like cloudy 
the stormy background with watercolour that took a lot of layers that little tiny area and it has crinkled the paper quite a bit um, but overall it's the eyes that I love about this picture I've used some stickles and I have gone in and basted which I didn't even remember that did the her with alcohol markers it would have been but yeah I just think that she's really really sweet you know I'm really proud of that one so that is the Jasmine Beckett Griffith I'm get her at getting better at saying her name I've not tagged any of these so do bear with me right, this one so you would have seen this on my recent video on my finished pages but the reason that I'm really proud of this one is because you, you can see the difference so this was a year ago this was last week um, I hope that you can see the difference I've gone in with acrylic in the black areas uh, pencil work everywhere else and some of the I think it was, was it the fine tech? I think it was the fine tech as you can see it's a little bit shiner let me just move the light and there you go, you can see a little bit better but yeah, but this side I used oil pastels and possibly black widow pencils and yeah, I've just, you know, it's amazing what a year a year does for your hobby I mean I've been doing this now nearly every single night for a year and I've been practicing and wanting to try my best to get better you'll see in another book that I've got some of the uh, older pages to to know the difference so yeah that is the main reason that I do love this page so much so that was in Summer Nights by Hannah Carlson I went on the Hannah Carlson binge last, last month I think I did four or five of her pages so I'm going to butcher her name. So this is Wild Soul by Grazia Salvo. And that's not the right tag because that's for a whip. And the one that I really like in here is the Lion, I believe it is. Not that one, there it is. Yep, so it's the Lion. So I did all of him in Pan Pastels. And I went in with a tiny little bit of detail. I mean, it's very messy here, very, very messy. But, you know, give myself a break. And the pencil work on the skin isn't the best, but it's the line that I really love. And again, with the pan pastel, I'm terrible. I should be using that more. Uh, there is some sort of it, but it was probably Paul Rubin, as you can see. The uh, and the uh, it probably is actually with that shine. But yeah, that's about it with that one. But I just love the pan pastel work on that. I do need to bring them out more. Uh, the very next one, so what are we up to now? One, two, three, four, five, six. So this is number seven. So this is Mystic uh, Mirrors by Furry Topia. That's the name of the boot, Debbie. It's Furry Topia colouring boot by Mystic Art Mirrors. Um, and the one, I do really like this one. This one come really, really close actually, considering I hate the background. Oh, I'm not going to be able to. There we go. So this is the front cover. And I just tried to emulate the the colours basically, and I do really love how, how it's come out. I love that it's got sparkle on the wings. Let's see there, that's better. I went round possibly nearly everything with gel pen. Uh, I think I thought with the leaves, right, I've had enough there. But if I remember correctly, no, they they've not got any white around them anywhere. So. Yeah, I think she's just adorable. I did go over with Pan Pastel with the stencil again with the background. Distress ink first and then the Pan Pastel actually. Um, I can't remember what pencils this was. I know that there's some watercolour, Albert Dura watercolour on the flowers and the leaves. It could possibly be all watercolour. Honestly, I can't remember. I'm really not if I'm not writing stuff down. But I am trying to get better at that. But yeah, that was just a really fun one that. It was really, really fun to do. Uh, the next one, we've got Imagine Morphia by Kirby Rosans. Um, so there is a couple in this one. This is where I'm, I'm going to cheat. Because this was a very early one. I've not dated it, but it is a very, very early colouring of mine. And I've gone in with a lot of watercolour. I know it's quite detailed. Oh wait, oh wait, there we go. So yeah. I've even put some paper over it, some tracing paper to protect it. 
but yeah I just really like how this one turned out I can't remember fully 100% what I used but I can see that it's watercolour by some of the, the streaking but this was one of my first um, double page spreads in the next book that I'm going to show you is my first double page spread that I did complete um, I'm hoping that none of these pages are stuck together because this is the problem that I had this is another page that I really really like and that you could hear was the Mod Podge as you can see it's shiner all over and I actually let my husband choose the colour palette with this he thought that this red shade I think it was raspberry something in the Prisma colour he thought that was brown he said I've chosen brown because it's like a horse but no it was red Dana it was red but nevertheless I love how it turned out so I tried to do opposite on each page and this probably took me I want to say two or three nights and when I'm doing my colouring or art or anything like that I've probably got two hours of an evening uh, to work on a page or pages so it probably took me about six hours five or six hours all in all which I don't think is too bad uh, we've got a couple of disasters in here uh, my werewolf page I really really like this one again this was a long long one for Halloween -y. I did enjoy doing that one um, I think that's everything in this one um, the griffin I followed colour with clothes tutorial again this was a really really uh, early one uh, very early one it's neo colour twos with practically everything apart from the griffin which my pencil blending was terrible you can still see the white of the paper in areas I don't think it was a good idea to go over his beak with uh, a metallic watercolour but that's what I did that's everything in that one and the last book is Colour Morphia again by Kirby Rosans and the reason that I wanted to show you this one is this is the very first double page spread that I did and I was utterly beyond ecstatic with this one when I'd finished it I think I'd spent a lot of time concentrating on all of the flowers um, let me dim my light down just a tad I've tried I finished the picture and then I got some oil pastels and I thought oh it'd be a good idea if I do this on the background no 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 it was terrible all here I didn't know how to use them it's all patchy and horrible I don't know why I didn't test it out on a different page but you know you live and learn so I ended up finishing off the background with um, soft pastel soft pastel sticks that I don't own anymore um, but yeah this is I was so proud of this page because it took me so long this took me hours and hours and hours to do so yeah because it is I think all of it apart from this bit in the background is all colour pencil and you can see the streakiness you know it doesn't matter I love looking back at my old pages to see actually how far I've come and if you think some of your colouring pages are bad you know look at the state of this so I do hope that it gives you confidence to try different things and just keep at it and you can see how streaky that is uh, is there any more in this one? I don't think there is oh no my T-Rex again what was I thinking with this? Why didn't I just go in with a black acrylic? I, I don't know. There's some sort of glitter on this. It's just a mishmash of colours. Uh, to be fair to myself, I do like the T-Rex, but... Can you see the lines? Oh, no. And I think that's, yeah, that's everything. But, yeah, that's just the pages that I wanted to share with you that you might not have seen of mine. Am I going to be able to... Yep, there we go. Oh, another bad disaster this will make you feel better I don't like just colouring with um, alcohol markers I like going in and adding some sort of shading so I don't know what I was thinking with this page obviously it bled through I've lost a page on this side which at the time I probably thought oh I'm not too fussed about but actually I wouldn't have minded colouring that one because it's a male mermaid which you don't get many of in colouring books um, but I have got a backup off this so it's okay so yeah that was my very favourite colouring pages I do hope that you enjoyed the video 
And if anybody else, I'm not gonna. This isn't gonna be a tag, but if you do want to join in with this, um, tag me so I can see the video because I'm really curious to see what everybody else would pick. And don't forget my dinosaur. He's going back up on the wall as soon as I press stop. <laughs> Stay safe, guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye. Bye.